Hello friends, welcome to Marine Part Shala. In this video, we will discuss about oily water separator, its working principle, construction details, and SOLAS requirement regarding OWS. Where we start? The first question arises, what is oily water separator? Oily water separator is a special equipment used on board ships to ensure that ships do not discharge oil when pumping out bilges, oil tanks, or any oil contaminated spaces. Oily water separator is frequently inspected at port state inspections. There should be an OWS operation manual on board and relevant staff should be familiar with the manual. An oil content monitor is provided to measure continuously the oil content of the effluent. If the set limit of the oil content is exceeded, the effluent is automatically recirculated to the collecting tank or the separator is stopped. Clean water suitable for discharge is that which contains less than 15 ppm of oil. Essential requirements for oily water separator. Oily water separator is a result of MAPOL and X1 regulation for prevention of pollution by oil. All parts design for the oily water separator is required to be approved by the authority or administration. Approving authority must ensure that the oily water separator pass through the minimum discharge limit of 15 ppm. Additional alarms and sensors must be installed on the equipment where it can't be monitored and maintained at all times. Arrangement must be made so the machine automatically cut off discharge beyond our limit. Any discharge of the oily mixture is prohibited in C unless the ship is in route and is discharged through the oily water separator. Oil record book must be maintained on each discharge on tank to tank basis. So here is a simple sketch of oily water separator. There are two units. The first stage is known as the filtering unit and the second one is known as the separation unit. The dirty oil water mixture is fed from here to the first chamber. These are baffles located in the first stage used for the separation. There is capacitance probe level sensor at the top. This is oil control valve. Here is dirty oil tank located. It is a diaphragm operated solenoid valve. Here are colossal filters in the second unit that are used for the separation. At last there is a three-way discharge valve. One goes overboard and one goes back to the OWS slush tank. If it is less than 15 ppm, the oily water mixture goes overboard. If the oil content is more than 15 ppm, it will go to the OWS slush tank. Construction details of oily water separator. Construction of oily water separator is very simple. As we have seen in the last slide, there are two separate compartments in the system. One is the separator unit and other is the filtering unit. The separator unit consists of a core separator with catch or baffle plates to accumulate small oil particles. In the separator unit, the separation takes place due to the density difference. The other compartment with the filtering unit, the unit consists of two or three stage coalescer filters where the impurities separated is then later removed manually. Oily water separator is fitted with various sensing probes and text cocks. Oil content monitor, usually known as OCM on board. If the PPM is high, it will give an alarm and feed data to the control unit. The control unit continuously monitors the output signal of the OCM and if alarm rises, it will not allow the oily water to go overboard by means of operating three-way valve. There are normally three solenoid valves commanded by the control unit. These are located in the first unit oil collecting chamber, second unit oil collecting chamber and one in the discharge side of oily water separator which is a three-way valve. It gives alarm when the oil content in the oily water mixture goes above 15 ppm. Operating principle of oily water separator. Dirty bilge water enters the separator and because of the difference in the density between oil and water, oil will start to separate in the top part. Oil has less density than water. The force acting on the oil globule 
to move in the water is proportional to the difference in the weight between the oil particle and a particle of water of equal volume. Working of oily water separator. The whole process of oily water separator starts with pumping out bilges with the help of bilge pump to the first chamber that is separation chamber. The oily water mixture will pass through the baffles in the separation chamber and it will increase the separating area by providing the additional surface to the oil particles to accumulate and form a large particle. Then they will rise to the upper chamber, upper space that is oil collecting space here. This automatically controlled solenoid valve will operate and send the oil to the separated oil tank. In the separation chamber, the oil content in the bilge water is only reduced to 100 ppm and so sent to the second stage to meet 15 ppm requirement. Second stage of oily water separator. It uses cholesterol filters. The filters absorb the oil molecules following upward in the first stage of filtering unit and moving downward in the second stage. The filter on the right removes the solids and some oil. The coalescing filters on the left chamber take out the remainder of oil in the form of small droplets which coalesce to form large drops. Coalescence is a breakdown of surface tension between the oil droplets in oily water mixture which causes them to join and increase the size. The coalescer filter along with subsequent sponge-like material having low surface area and low pressure loss provide final water content with less than 15 ppm oil. Even after filtration of water can't be directly released into the sea. Instead, it is passed through OCM which detect and ensure the oil content is below 15 ppm. If the oil content in the water is more than 15 ppm, then it gives an alarm with the water output automatically diverted to the bilge tank through a three-way valve preventing sea pollution. If everything is within the limit, the water is discharged overboard using the three-way valve. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe Marine Partshala. If you have any queries, directly message us in Instagram. The link is given below. If you want any study material related to marine, you can join our telegram channel. The link is given in the description.